Thank you. So before we get started this afternoon, this, this, is, this time frame is what's known as the kiss of death hour. Okay, lunch has passed. Everybody has had a nice meal. We're digesting. We're going to go to sleep. No, we're not. Because just, just like Brian, Brian handed out prizes and um, he made you earn them with a quiz. I'm asking Sherry to help me out here. She's going to pass out some chocolate. Um, <clears throat> it's the good stuff. But yeah, just go ahead. Because people never remember what you say, but they do remember how you make them feel. So what I'm aiming for is bloated. Uh, diabetic coma, sugar rush. Yeah, so Sherry, if you would, thank you. If you do have a nut allergy, I just pass it on by because um, I think it says on the package somewhere. But there's, there's more coming in front, so we can just keep them going. Now, <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm graphically challenged, and I'll freely admit it. If you want to, I mean, those of you that are designers in the audience, if you want to talk about split complementary colors and so forth, I can talk the lingo, okay? But I still think burnt orange and lime green is a good color combination. I don't know why, but it just is. But you know, we've, we've been talking all day, and one of the things that is a common theme, a recurring theme, is we need to have good content. We need to have a lot of content. And that content today relies not so much on text, but it relies on graphics and video. Video is the ling lingua franca of the 21st century. No fooling. If you can't do video, you're screwed in terms of communicating your message to your customers. So how do you go about doing that when you're as graphically challenged as I am? Well, there are some tools out there that will help. Now, I'm going to focus on one this afternoon. It's a set of tools. The tools work on uh, web browsers, and we'll get into that in a minute. They are also apps that you can run on tablets and uh, smartphones and so forth. But the tool that I'm going to focus on is Adobe Spark. Spark.adobe.com is the URL. And it's going to, uh, <clears throat> if you want to use it, it's free, OK? Did I mention it's free? If you're a school, and I don't know how many educators are in here, but if you are a school, you can go to spark.adobe.com slash education, and you can sign up your whole school for free. Well, it's free. Why would I want to sign up my whole school? Because you can do branding. You can do all sorts of other things that most of mere mortals have to pay for, but as a school, it's free. The thing I like about Spark is it's an ecosystem. You have the ability to create graphics, you have the ability to create video, and yeah, you can do single web pages and so forth, but you got WordPress, so you know why, why would you want to talk about that? So we're going to focus on the graphics and we're going to focus on the video. But the neat part is you can take the graphics, you can create a reasonably simple graphic and pull it back in and make a more complex graphic. You can take that graphic then, and you can take that graphic and turn it into and include it in a video. And the videos, yeah, how many of you know all about video creation start to finish? You've done it before, right? And for those of you that are looking out in the audience, there aren't that many hands going up. So what they actually provide through this set of tools is a way to have nice, guided, do this, then this, then this, followed by this, followed by, what was that thing that Chris was talking about? Oh, a call to action. And that's all included within, okay? Now, in order to work on this, yeah, I, could, I can put on my professor hat and I can prattle to you for the next hour. And gosh, that'll be really exciting and that chocolate will be wasted because you'll go to sleep. So instead, we are going to ask for some victims, I mean volunteers from the audience, to come up and help me because I want to show you how easy it is to use these tools. So the, the caveat, the requisite is nobody that comes up here has used Spark before. How many of you have ever heard of Adobe Spark? Okay, how many of you used it? Okay, so you that have used it, you might not want to come up here, but if, you, uh, if you're willing to help me out, I do have some prizes for you, some prizes to help out for helping Mark out. So Alex, what do we have in the way of prizes? Well, Mark, we have some Spark Post-it notes. Ooh, oh, but that's not good enough. What else do we have? Oh, why, Mark, we have, we have, Ooh, what is this? What is this? It's a Spark webcam cover. 
Ooh, and not to be outdone, anybody that comes up and helps me out gets a web professional's pen. Not even all members have these, and they have a speak secret compartment. I'll let you figure out where the secret compartment is. Multifunction pen, okay. So I do need somebody to help me out here, and I need a volunteer. Who's going to volunteer? Oh, please, what's your name? Michelle, Michelle big hand for Michelle. Yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Let's close. Hmm. There's my cursor. Okay. So I have already logged in to spark.adobe.com. And if you want to log in, you can log in with either your Adobe ID, which is free, or you can log in with your Google ID or your Fossey Book ID, okay? Any one of those. Fossey Book? Isn't that, I, I always put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Did, did I do that right? Now, if you were to start creating some of these items, you'll notice you have the ability to create a graphic, a web page, or a video. And there's lots of starting points here, but I've already done the hard work, Michelle, right? Yes. Okay, I've already done the hard work for us. So down here, I have created, and I'm just going to edit this one, because I think we just need to tweak it just a bit. But I've, I've created this nice little poster that I'm going to use to promote the event that we're having this afternoon. So I've already put the text on here. I think, what do you think, Michelle? Is this ready to, to actually make available to everyone? Um, maybe a little more color. What, you want color? Yeah, I like really? You, you don't like gray on like white color. and black? Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> Gosh. Well, maybe we could like click on the background here. Now you're going to drive, but is there is there any way we could add like an image for some color in the background? Like a background image? Yeah, like okay. is, do, you, do you see any way I you're going to have to drive? I'm going to click on that. Yeah, so you go ahead and click on that. Okay, and that, oh, that allows us, yeah, click on an image. Now, we can upload photos, that's cool, but why don't we go ahead and find photos? Okay. And what, what would you choose in the way of a subject to include here? Okay, so let's see what we get. And it's thinking about it, and it's thinking about it. And we are connected. It is thinking about it. I didn't find any. I just try... What about try. story? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Whatever. Just pick something. I love doing these demos live. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, so we get, we get lots of images here. Now, Michelle, right? Any image you find out on the Internet you can use on your web pages and all that, right? You don't have to worry about anything, do you? I'm pretty sure you should. You do? Yeah. What do you have to worry about? Well, like, what if somebody else owns that? Oh, you mean something that starts with a C, ends with yeah. a T, like copyright? Yeah. Oh, yeah, except this is one of the reasons why I would use this tool if I could. Oh, wait, I do, quite a bit. <laughs> because uh, Adobe engineers have already gone through the process of looking at Pixabay and all the other sites that offer Creative Commons, use it as you want. Whatever that license is, you can use it for commercial purposes. If you want to use it as an album cover for your latest, you know, whatever that you're making available, you can do it. So any of these images, they've already done the hard work for you. It's the Creative Commons, you don't even have to give attribution. Yeah, so why don't you choose an image out there? Okay, so we have an image. You have chosen well. Okay. You, you have a nice image that's out there, and now, gosh, it's kind of hard to read the text, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's just, just humor me, and let's grab, just click on any of this text over here, just for grins and giggles. Okay, okay so we've clicked on it, and you will notice that down on the right-hand side, you see a number of choices. I don't know what happened. Is that the laser pointer here? Yeah. Is it not? Oh, come on. Okay. I can't get it to work. We'll use the finger pointer. But that's okay. 
Uh, you'll notice over here we have choices. We can work with types and colors and all that. But here's one of the neat things. If you click down here where it says style, you see style? All right. So let's click on style and we have a thumb slider. Now I know it's going to be hard on a track, but you're using your finger. You should be using a thumb. It's a thumb slider, Michelle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and move. Yeah, play along, please. But go ahead and move that around and watch what's happening to the text as Michelle moves the text, uh, moves that thumb slider around. Just keep going, keep going. You, you can spin around multiple times. Keep going, keep going. See how it keeps changing? Is that not worth at least an ooh or an ah? Yeah, I mean, ooh, especially for those of us that are graphically challenged. Because one of the problems I always have when selecting this stuff is what font do I want to use? What color combination do I want to use? All the, you know, that, that cartoon animation where the, uh, the pages on the calendar flip past, that's me in font selection. You know, it really is. You know, oh gosh, it's been three hours. Well, I've narrowed it to 600 fonts. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's one of the issues. So when you're happy with something, okay. just go ahead and we'll just click up here. Gosh, maybe we want to change the color a little bit. So where it says color over on the right, Notice how relatively intuitive this is. Oh, by the way, this I started with a little branding. We can scroll down. We don't have to do branding, though. Those are the web professionals' official colors, but keep scrolling down. And you'll see suggested colors because it's trying to pick up a little bit on the background. Yeah, so just experiment with it. Wow. Okay. And then if you want, you see the little crossover arrows? I wonder what those do. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. It reverses it. Huh. Yeah. Have I convincing? Oh, by the way, I asked before how many are professional graphic artists, graphic background, and so forth, and several raised their hands. Believe it or not, there are a number of practicing professional graphic artists that I know today that use this tool and use it a great deal. Why? Because of the work environment we live in today. You don't have a week to develop something in Photoshop or Illustrator. You don't have a day. It's, it's one of these, um, let's see. Oh, well, Chris, is it okay to pick on you? Because you're way in the back and that'll teach you. Uh, <laughs> so basically, Chris, we're, we're needing to develop a graphic, right? We got to get it ready for the client. Oh, by the way, the client meeting. Yeah, it's 2.11. It's at 3 o'clock this afternoon. You got time to get that done, don't you? Well, yeah. We don't want to pay four hours. Exactly. Yeah, and so, I mean, a lot of times what will happen is graphic, professional graphic people will use tools, they'll use this tool, they'll create a prototype. Will it do everything? No. Is it free? Yes. Gosh, I, I wonder, is there any way to do a little more than what this allows? Gosh, do, do you think Adobe sells additional tools that might actually <laughs> let you... Yeah, maybe they do, right? Okay, so there might be a reason. So, Michelle, what, uh, what else might you want to change on this? So, what does effects... Why don't we find out? And that's the whole idea. Experiment with it. Oh, that was certainly a, not an improvement. Uh, <laughs> I hear that a lot. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, choose one. Ah, oh, gosh, I wonder what line thickness does. Let's, let's, let's investigate. Again, the idea is to just sit down and experiment with this stuff. The reason these tools exist, one of the main reasons, is that has, has anyone used like, um, oh, I don't know, Premiere Pro? Yeah. The first time you opened that up, what did you feel like? Personally, when I opened it, it was like I was staring at the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know exactly. What's a pick whip? You know, I, I don't, yeah, okay. But the idea is you can create graphics, you can create video. If you are relatively, like, grade schoolish, yeah, you can get your creative idea out there very quickly. That's what the whole idea is. And oh, by the way, you can make it very useful. Um, yeah, gosh, you'll notice, gosh, I wonder what this little, little circle thingy does there. What if you click and drag? Oh, you can rotate text. And if you want to change the text, just double click on it. That's all you have to do to change it. Okay. Oh, wait. What if we, let's see, we've got text styles. Oh, we could duplicate text. Let's just click off to the side here and just 
so we're not having the text highlighted because it's very context sensitive. Mm -hmm. So we still got text. We'll come over. Yoink. And gosh, is there any way we could like resize this stuff? Ooh. Oh, Michelle, I'm making this so hard. No, no. Oh, the, okay. Just click off to the side. Maybe we want to resize things down on the right hand side, uh -huh. down a little further. Yeah. And just go ahead and choose some of those. So, oh, Pinterest, isn't that one of those social media things? <laughs> You'll remember this, won't you? Yeah. Okay, or uh, YouTube -y and so forth. So you'll notice the sizes are changing. Oh, what about the layout? What if we want to change the layout on something? Yeah, let's see what some of those choices are. And you'll have to scroll down a bit. But you'll notice now we have the ability, we can actually, yeah, just scroll on down. We can do collages, we can do grids, we can do all sorts of fun things. You think this is worthwhile? Yeah, see how, see how incredibly difficult it was to make these changes? Yeah. And then, oh, by the way, let's see. I, am, I have this on my, yeah, the, the, the lag is just a little bit here, so we'll give it just a second for the network to catch up. But, Michelle, where did you click the save button? I didn't. You, you didn't? No. Oh, that's because I, I it's... I don't know if this is save worthy quite yet, but... <laughs> Okay, yeah, we might want to enhance it a little bit, and the, the network still hasn't caught up, but just to prove this is actually going into the cloud, that's an earlier version of what she was working on. Yeah, is that cool? Which means, oh, by the way, if you're working with this stuff, wherever you're at, you don't have to save anything. You can start with it. Gosh, we're, we're doing, you know, maybe we're going to do this for real, and we're going to put together, we we'll use that, um, where's, where's Erica at? I don't see her. There, you, there, that's who I'm looking for. Because she made the logo and stuff for the WordCamp. So, first of all, thank you very much for doing that. But if we want to reuse the stuff, we could take that logo and we could put it on all sorts of branding, right? And gosh, we could actually reuse it for multiple years. With Spark Post, it's out there. All we have to do is make minor changes. And we can have this fabulous poster that Michelle's working on available in two years, three years, five years, as many times as we want to iterate through it. Gosh, what else would we do to improve this, Michelle? I'm, I'm going to okay. leave it up to you. Well, so I have a team of people that mm -hmm. might work on something, so mm -hmm. we can all have access to this at the same time, and everybody can contribute, and then there's a final draft. It depends on which version you have. Okay. If you have the free version, it's going to be each working on their own, yes. Gotcha. Okay. But I could share this with somebody else that you, you can you can sh you can share it and you can save it as a, a JPEG or a ping that sort of thing and Really if you think about it what we're doing is prototyping something very quickly Because a lot of times I would want to work with a graphics person But I have an idea in my head and I want to put something together very quickly Here's a way of me slamming something out me graphically challenged mark putting something out that is sort of kind of what I had in mind. Now you can take it and run with then it, right? you can make it pretty. This is just yeah. what I was thinking. Just what I was thinking. Okay. And Adobe engineers have set it up so you cannot screw it up. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the color combinations, yeah, you would really have to work at it to find the burnt orange and lime green. You really would. Okay. So another problem I have is when I opened my business, I paid a graphic designer to come up with my own, you know, fonts and colors. And, yep. you know, they gave yep. me a little code for those colors, but I don't know what to do with those. You can't just find that stuff. Can I make it actually, yeah, you can detect colors and so forth, and you can see what the fonts are. If you click on one of the texts again, just, just for grins and giggles, okay. it's very context sensitive. We'll use that as an example. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice right over here, it tells you the font is, oh my gosh, Babas Nui. <laughs> yeah, I knew that right off the bat, sure. But click on that drop down arrow next to Babas. And you see all the different fonts that are available. And these, yes, you can add your own fonts in, but you have a starting point of fonts, uh, a starting point, and you can choose from them uh, to adjust accordingly. But it's a limited set, and that's one of the nice things, too. You don't have to wait for days to go through it. Um, you can actually change color, you can do effects. Yeah, there's all sorts of fun things we can do. But just basically, um, just trying to give you an idea of what the possibilities are. You think this is something you might use? Did I mention it's free? Yeah. And, oh, by the way, if you want to actually share it with some, 
Is there any way we could like, I don't know, share or download or anything? Oh, where it says share, yeah. So if you were to click on share, just go, we won't do it for real, but just click on it. And this allows you, says, well, I want to share it on Twitter or Facebook or one of these other ones. I can share it as a, choose link just for grins and giggles. And now we have, oh, that's that goofy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so <clears throat> we have some options to publish it. We could copy it. We could make it available. Why don't you click on the little X up there? The point is we can make it available that way or we can click on download and download it directly to our hard drive. And because it's browser-based, it's going to prompt you for where I just click cancel out of that. Okay. You don't, we don't really need to save it at this point, but you get the idea. <clears throat> Does this seem useful? You all think this might be a useful tool that you want to investigate? Okay, spark.adobe.com. All right. So, first of all, Michelle, thank you very much. Oh. You get that and that. And that. And, that? and yes, where do you think the where do you think the secret compartment is? Ooh. Oh, man, Big hand for Michelle. Hand. Thank you. So, here's the cursor. Now, <clears throat> That's how you work with graphics, and you can make changes. Oh, one thing we didn't touch on, but we will, is if I'm in here working with a graphic and I come over here to layout, and there's a number of different layouts that I might want to apply, it gives me suggested ones. Uh, nowhere in here, and I guarantee nowhere, will you see a layout that has three rows and two or three columns right here. I want to do a collage. That doesn't exist. Is there any way I could create one of those? Why, well, yes, there is, Mark. How might I do that? If I don't see something that's exactly what I want. Oh, come on. There's a webcam cover for somebody that gives me the right answer. You got it. I'll fling it to you, but that'd pro I'd probably kill somebody. <laughs> Somebody want to be so, here, I'll lay it down here. You can get it. I'm, I'm not going to hurt anybody, I promise. It's yours. Uh, but yeah, you create an image that has two cells. Then you save that. And then you take those two cells. You pull it back in as an image. And you put it in your three rows. Simple way to work with it. <clears throat> now, need to create a video. Gosh, is there any way to create a video? Now, I didn't do this one from scratch. Uh, oh, no, by the way, if you have like an iPad, etc., there is a Spark Post app. There's a Spark Video app and so forth. Uh, if you're using a browser, you just go to spark.adobe.com. But I'm going to go ahead and click on video just for grins and giggles and tell your story. I'm going to skip past that. Now, I'm going to need somebody to help me out again. Remember... We're, we're looking, we're, we're needing help. You want to do it? Come on. What's your name? Don. Don? Come on, Don. Big hand for Don. <laughs> Don, do you do a lot of video creation? I do not. You do not? All right. Then you are the perfect victim. I mean volunteer. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is we're going to create something. We're going to do the... Uh, we're going to follow through because I want to show you how you can do it step by step. And then we're going to build it from scratch. But you'll notice we could, if we wanted to, promote an idea, tell what happened, hero's journey. And oh, by the way, if you look down there, gosh, if only we could like scroll across and see, you know, different. So I don't know. Maybe one, how about invitation? We want to invite people to something. So who pick me, pick me. Did you? Okay. And now... <clears throat> Yeah, we'll wait patiently. Okay, this is one of the neat features. Don't worry about clicking anything right now. But, Don, if you were working on your own somewhere and you forgot all of this painful experience that you're going through right now, and, gosh, I know what Mark said, but I don't know how to do it. Well, you know what? Every step of the way, you're guided by little videos. You can either listen to those videos, or in our case, we can just say, okay, I'm ready, because Mark's going to walk you through what you need to, to go through on this. Now, you'll notice on this particular example, 
we have about the organizer, event, why it's exciting and it keeps going across. But we'll just leave it. So you've, you've got something that walks you through step by step. This is the order you need to put things together. And lots of teachers, those that teach video production and so forth, have been involved in making these different narratives available. Um, let's see, gosh, before we go any further, in the upper right corner, we see we have layouts and we have themes. Huh, why don't we try themes? Because I don't know about you, but I can't say I'm overly excited about black and white. And yeah, those are the WordPress colors, but if you scroll down, I'm sorry, yeah, Word Web Professional colors, keep scrolling down. There should be some, beyond that, some brand themes. Oh, I turned branding on, I'm sorry. So you only get those. But again, you get the idea. And there's other themes available. Just pick, pick like medium or dark, yeah. And you notice how things changed right away? So you can provide some basic information. How might you add something to this particular video? Um, gosh, it's, oh, look at that, there's a plus. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah, you, you figured that out, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Harassment is where you see why I give prizes out. Otherwise, people would beat me. But, <laughs> So we have the ability, we can put in video, we can put in text, we can put in photos, we can put in icons. Icons, who knows what icons are? Why don't we find, choose icon. Icons come from the Noun Project. I don't know if you're familiar with the Noun Project, but go ahead and type in some kind of icon, something that you're after here. And all of these, by the way, can be used the copyrights have already been taken care of for you. Go ahead and just choose something. A fine choice. Now let's go back over to theme. Change theme. Just pick a different theme. Oh, look at that. The icon changed. At least a woot. As you change themes, all sorts of things change. Oh, by the way, let's go over to layout now instead of themes. And why don't we do a split screen? Because maybe we want to have the football and we want to have something else. So we could have a text or an icon. See how it gives us a choice? We can switch things back and forth. So maybe put some text in there or something like that. And if you want, you can switch them around to either side. Uh, you could go ahead and, yep, see, move things around. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Go ahead, put some text in. Now, if you're a student, uh, former students, etc., you get a kick out of this. But if I, if I told you, Don, put some text in, you know exactly what they would type, don't you? Some text in. <laughs> of course. Please don't. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah, type away. Bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you've got, you've got something, you can add other things in, all right? And we could, if we wanted to, we could go on to describe the event, why it's exciting, and so forth and so on. One thing we haven't touched on yet is, gosh, I want to actually include some of my narration. Is there any way we could, like, record what we're... What we're oh, yeah, but actually, uh, humor me for a second. Go ahead and... Hold it down, click once on it, because we're going to have to allow the microphone. So, yeah, just uh, hold it now. There you go. Uh, press and hold. Okay, and so I guess I've already allowed the microphone. So we're going to go ahead and include some things. Yeah, just keep holding it down, because I'm going to talk. You know, I'm a professor. I'm paid to ramble, so we're going to talk and talk and talk. <laughs> just because I like to talk. I mean, that's, that's okay, isn't it? And uh, I'm just going to keep talking here. Eventually, notice it says keep it short now. And I'm still prattling on, going on my merry way. Yes, we've got 700 PowerPoint slides. Oh, look, there's a countdown. See, it actually makes me shut up after a while. Okay? And now we can say, okay, got it. Now, what if you want to record something and you want to record over what I just, all that foolishness? Go for it. Why don't you record something? <laughs> Why, yes, Don. <laughs> remember, remember, you're doing it. You're doing it for post-it notes. <laughs> Welcoming everybody to join us for a football party this Sunday, 4 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. Okay, now, play it back. How do you play it back? Hmm. 
Apparently the audio is not being picked up by the HDMI. She's, she's talking. She really is. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Is the volume muted? That volume's up. Try play again, is it? Welcoming everybody to join us for a football party this Sunday, 4 p.m. sharp. Don't be late. Okay, I don't know if you all could hear that, but... Oh, wait, there was music going in the background, wasn't there? Gosh, huh? I didn't particularly like that. Is there any way we could, like, work with the music? Maybe the button that says music! Yeah. And, gosh, there's a number of different choices. Oh, by the way, Dawn, it's okay to use any music that you want to upload, right? No. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, Adobe engineers have taken care of this for you, too. This is all taken care of. Again, you can use it for anything you want. You don't have to pay royalties on the stuff that's here. So, my two cents, even though it says add my music, I'd forget that that button even exists. That's just my two cents on it, okay? So, yeah, gosh, I wonder what some of these others sound like. Is there, is there any that just, yeah, why don't we, gosh, is there any way we could, like, play it? And, you know, we're right at the 2 o'clock hour, Don. We're going to get very sleepy. It's kind of a lullaby, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah let's get some rousing party music. We're failing miserably, Don. <laughs> now you know why I, I'm asking, oh yeah, ukulele, whistle away, who knows. And we continue on with yet another choice. Hey, how much did you pay for this? Nothing. Yeah, there you go, okay. So there are other music choices, and yes, you can adjust accordingly. But you get the idea, right? You, you can experiment with it, okay? Pardon? Yeah, what's leapfrog? Oh, by the way, if you want, you can also control the, uh, the loudness of the music. If, if it's not painful enough, you can make it louder. I don't know. We're getting a little, yeah, I, th I think we're starting to move in the right direction here. Anyhow, you get the idea. Yeah, okay. So if you want to use that one, you can just, yeah, just click on it, all is good. And now go back and hit the play button over here again. Welcoming everybody to join us for a football. So you got the different music in the background now. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Okay, so it walks you through kind of guided step by step. You can change the layout and all that. Um, you can share it, you can preview it if you want. So if you want to see what the whole thing looks like, you can do that. The, the whole thing behind this is it's set up for small chunks. Because most people today have the attention that God gave gnats, right? At best, you know, keep it under four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Number one, depending on, on what you're going to do with it on your WordPress site, you may be in a situation where you, uh, you want to just grab someone's attention. You can do that with a short video relatively short video and then you can move on to other things now there are a couple of issues right now that there is no captioning available um, that to me is an issue because I'm real big on accessibility and so forth so that's something you'd have to do independently but still you've got a starting point so <clears throat> if you wanted to and yes I could bring it up as well but just trust me on the spark video app on the tablet it is updated with the new material here as well uh, whatever changes have been made have already been burned into the cloud. And we could go away and come back next year and the stuff would still be there. If I wanted to download, any way I could like download this? <clears throat> oh, yes. And then if we click on that, we get an MP4. Isn't that cool? Anybody think they're going to use this? Quick show of hands. How many people think this is worth, worth learning and using? Yeah. And oh, by the way, if we, yeah, we're previewing it, and yeah, that's fine. Uh, cancel out of that. And, okay, let's see. Let's go back, let's go to a new slide, like why it's exciting, that sort of thing. 
And gosh, notice some of the choices that I have here. I can include a video. Oh, that video could be a video I created with Spark Video. So I could download it and then bring it back in. So I could get uh, another video if I wanted to. Um, actually, let's, let's bring in, I think I got a video on the desktop. So yeah, just click on video for a second and go to the desktop, which would be right there. And, oh gosh, well, maybe I don't have it anymore. Oh, try a desktop other. And scroll down. Yeah, here we go. Okay, go ahead and select that one. So this is actually a video that, that someone brought, um, provided because you know you're you're working to earn one of these pens, and this is actually we do a lot of work um, <clears throat> with the Illinois School for the Deaf, and so we provided uh, pens to all the students and gave them a pen challenge. Okay, and oh by the way, you'll notice there are thumb sliders here. You see the zero and so forth. That's gosh, this is a minute forty, and that's only showing. So we're at three seconds out of a minute forty. Is there, is there any way we could get more of the video in? Oh look at that. Yeah. Oh, but wait, you can only go to, yeah, okay, got it. So if we wanted to share more than that, we could do another slide, which started at 31 seconds or 30 seconds over to the next increment. We could stack them one after the next, and it's pretty seamless. Go ahead and click on save, just for grins and giggles. And it's saving the clip. <clears throat> Part of this is network dependent, and obviously you have to have an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, you are screwed. Uh, that's just a technical term, but now if you wanted to play it back, you could actually click play right here and see the video. Yeah, is that cool? Okay, so we can go ahead and pause on that if you want. And if we wanted to, let's just grab maybe this event one here. Just, just, yeah, so we've got something. And now if we wanted to, let's click on photo. So we could conclude a photo. We could either search online, same issues as before, or we could take one of those photos we put together in Spark Photo and pull it in here. So we could download it, bring it back up. And yeah, if you're looking for football, maybe you can find, oh, food. Football and food, yes. And you can scroll up and down and see what else you find out there. But again, you've got all these things taken care of for you. Oh, uh, just here, yeah. If you, I'm sorry, if you just, if you move your cursor over and then just two finger scroll, that'll work too. Yeah, actually scroll all the way to the bottom. No, I said all the way to the bottom. Oh, really? All the way to the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's an infinite scroll. Yes, I'm, I'm playing with you. Harassment should be graded. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much because you choose a category like food because you chose that. It's just infinite scroll. It just keeps going on and on because there's so many food choices out there. So, yeah, if you, you just pick one just for grins and giggles, you see it brings it in, and then you could manipulate, do whatever you want. Or, you know, you could change the theme. If you want, what if I wanted to put some text and stuff on this image? Well, there's no easy way, but you know what? Gosh, there's another tool. Yeah, we were using it earlier, post, and that allowed us to do all sorts of things. So yeah, we can put text in here. Just go ahead and put something in in the way of text if you want. Excellent, and I will. Where, where is this at now, Don? <laughs> What if I wanted to change the font to the Bring Your Appetite? That's not going to be easy to do. That's one of those I'm, I'm picking on you. Because if you wanted to change the font, what you have to do is go back over to Post and make the changes on the graphic, and then you'd pull the graphic in and use the graphic. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have... Gosh, we've touched on most of the highlights here. We can download it. We can do all sorts of things with it. Um, hmm. Why don't we give Dawn a big hint? She's helped out a lot. Put up, put up with a lot of harassment from me. So here you go. Very own Post-it notes. And webcam cover. 
spark brand and your very own pen with a secret compartment. Thank you very much, Don. Now, uh, limited time, and I do want to open this up for questions, and we're going to discuss things. But just kind of FYI, there is a third option out here, and sometimes WordPress is not the best solution, especially if you just want to do something quick and dirty. Gosh, if only there was a way to create a web page. Well, yes, there is. And the web page allows you to do all sorts of fun things. We've got title, idea. And in the same way, this, this editor is actually not that different from the editor in Gutenberg that you're about to experience one of these days. Anybody know when it's coming out? Do we know when? What? No, I know that, but when? It was supposed to be April to August of 2018. It's a mystery. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Matt Mullen went to the Spears Challenge. He's going to be down to the speed. It's five times. And I think that, you know. <laughs> uh, so if we wanted to add things in, maybe I wanted to do a short, like, uh, page dealing with all sorts of humor and all that. This might be a way of doing that. Uh, we can put in photos, text. Uh, we can do photo grids, like a collage, a glide show. Uh, where one image scrolls past one at a time. We can do split layouts and all the rest of that. You all know how to make web pages. There is one difference between these three tools. With post, I'm able to create graphics and download them locally. With video, I'm able to create videos and download them locally. With page, I'm able to store the page on the Adobe web servers. I can't download it locally. And that's sort of an issue. But again, if you need a knockoff, you know, just one quick, easy, whatever, that's a way of dealing with it. So those are the, the three different capabilities. What questions do we have? Yeah. Does Spark allow you to edit audio? Or did you, you know, if you wanted to stack audio, for example, would you use one and then you know, save it, bring in a second piece of audio, save it? Spark has limited capabilities with audio. Gosh, if, if only Adobe sold like some audio manipulation like Audition or, or something like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of these, you know, oh, look, Martha, we got one. Let's reel them in now. That's an issue, okay? But again, it's limited. But if you think in terms of the overall audience, I mean, five-year-olds are using this stuff to put videos together and communicate. Think about it. You know, you're back in grade school and you have to do the dreaded book report. Yeah. But, oh my, I can actually use the, some of these tools to make a very impressive book report. I can have video. There's, there's one example I won't show you in the interest of time, but there was a student, seventh grade student, teacher was explaining the scientific method, cheeky little whatever student said, teacher, you're not doing it right, I can do better. Teacher said, okay, do better. Student did. Did it in Spark Video, handed it in, and she's been using it to this day as far as I know. They really did better, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, long-winded answer to a short question, but does that help a bit? Other questions, I know we, yeah. Uh, from post, can you export that to like PSD for Photoshop or something like that? No. When you, when you export anything from post, it's gonna come in as a ping, JPEG, that sort of thing. And so, obviously, JPEGs have lossy issues. Um, but keep in mind, some of these images you can make like poster size, and then you, c you can manipulate it. So as long as you don't make a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, you should be okay just sucking it into Photoshop and then taking it from there. But no, you can't directly save it as a PSD. Well, my thought was you said, you know, if you're working with this, maybe you would mock up something in post beforehand. So yeah. Yeah, they'd have to do the work to recreate it if they're going to. But again, it's the idea. You know, I'm in a marketing department. I don't, don't know a bit about graphic, graphic design and so forth. But rather than just, you know, sketch something down on a piece of paper and hand it off to someone, here's an idea. Make it pretty. Make it, make it pop. You know, there should be graphic designers coming to me with knives at this point. Have you ever heard that? Make it pop and hackles go up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing with you. I am. Yeah. Are there um, wipe or dissolve effects between shots in Spark, or is it simply cut? If you're doing the video, it depends on the theme. 
And because I foolishly chose the branding option, I have a limited number of themes available. But if I were, here, let me, let me do a new one and try to pay attention so that, ah, darn it. <clears throat> I do a lot of traveling, so I set it up so the cursor, if it goes to certain places on the screen, it immediately locks the screen. So let's do a new video and And, oh, anyhow, there's, there's the ability to manage your brand and you get, you get a number of additional themes within there. Uh, we've, we've, because we're into marketing, we tend to reduce the number of choices that people have, go figure, and, you know, make sure certain color schemes or so forth. Uh, blue is one of our colors, yeah. Oh, totally unrelated, but do you know blue is the only safe color you can use on the web? Did you know that? Worldwide? Who knew that? 